Hey, what's good, Daddy? It's your boy, Mr. Wonka7. Uh, this is going to be the first bonus episode for Final Fantasy 2. My bad. Well, the more I think about it, the more I realize bonus episodes are pretty helpful. Like, I could have done a couple for Chrono Trigger back in the day. Just to get, like, extra stuff out of the way. Since I didn't do absolutely everything there. I could have fought that dude in the end of time at level 99. And that would have been really interesting. Okay. Wow, such a hard ass. So that's what he wanted to say as he was dying, but he didn't even get last words. It looks a lot like the Jade Passage. And now we assume control, I believe. Oh no, we don't. That was just a lag spike. That's not Gordon, by the way. In case you haven't realized it, Gordon doesn't die. This is Scott. We know about him for the first hour of the game. And from then on, he's dead meat. We literally meet him in his deathbed. Alright. I didn't really outfit... Freaking Minwoo would be powerful, but... No way, Black Knights? Oh, it's not a Death Rider, though. Might as well work on his spells for a while. Yeah, act as a healer. You came in prepared, buddy. Yes, Daddy, Minwoo is so good. That boy, good. Anyway. I could do things the brute force way now. Which isn't really my style. What am I talking about? That's the only style I have. Brute force. And cheesing the hell out of enemies. Like, did you see my playthrough of Dragon Quest V? I did not do one spell. You would have thought I didn't know that mechanic existed, but I did. Yo, these dudes take forever to kill. I don't mind because it plays a boss team, which I think sounds really good. Because it's a good boss team. It's not that, like, a uh, desert Aladdin sounding one. Ugh. Might as well level my stuff up. But at least you're strong enough to deal with these guys.
Oh, well. They're pretty sturdy. Switches. Oh, hell no. Yeah, just... Just do your own thing for now. But yeah, obviously, if you haven't figured it by now, we're in some kind of afterlife. I don't really understand the mechanics of this afterlife. Some things have come back fully alive. No fly leaf. And other things have come back kind of half dead. So maybe it's on based on your own merits of your soul. Or maybe these guys just suck at taking care of themselves. So, at the end of the day, they come back as... Vengeful shells of their former selves. Yes, Daddy? Keep in mind that Minwu died pretty late into the game. He died around Chapter 7 when we were trying to get the Ultima Tone. Right before we went to the Whale. Right before... Actually, that's not true. Right before we went to the dungeon to kill the Emperor the first time. So this dude, Scott, has been chilling by his lonesome for a pretty long time. Yeah, we literally got a group of teens with attitude. Well, this doesn't look exactly like the hell I came through, and the enemies are certainly a lot more easy, a lot more fair, actually. So I got an elixir out of that. Yes, daddy. Okay. This guy is completely outfitted with Mithril. I just realized all that effort I did to like equip Minwu with some good stuff. It all meant nothing. Think about it. I'm sure I had him with more stuff than just this. What a joke. Okay, now let me try to save feature. You know what, I don't like seeing Locke's ugly face, so I'm going to save over this. Yes, Daddy? Okay, those are... We don't have any key terms yet. Do we have the same... Actually, we do have a very similar bestiary. I might change the window color in the future. Because you already snow.
I don't really fuck with that. Having the same color for too long. Death horns. And I'm not gonna chant it. <clears throat> for obvious reasons, of course. You will definitely need a healer for this. A strict, no-nonsense healer. Because you will not survive on your own merits. These foes are much too mighty, much too... They're coming back to life, motherfucker. Stop playing with me. I know he couldn't, like, uh, attack right after that. Minwoo's a pretty good healer. I guess it's because of his intelligence stat or something of that nature. Okay, let's see. Then continue to the door. Oh, damn. We got wrecked. <clears throat> Just fuck me up, I guess. <laughs> that was the logic behind that. Keep in mind, we can't really fool around right now. Engage in fun tomfoolery, because... The many enemies here are just really vicious. And of course, there's a fixed ATB. And of course, you can't run away from battles normally. I'm, I'm doing it just to, like, prove a point, really. I'm not even going to reset anymore. We got two party members, so the process isn't going to be too painful to watch. Like Again, fixed ATB. Protect and attack. I don't trust any of these enemies. At this point, I assume they all hit like a truck. And that confirms my narrative, but I think that's based on your total hit points. So, whatever. Okay, unknown cave, basement number two. We don't know where the hell we're at right now. Let me look at your stats, Scott. Your attack is decent. You're a pretty good guy. Stat wise. Pretty good and pretty talented. Alright, let's go. Joseph died pretty early on too. But I'm surprised that Scott and Joseph haven't really met each other yet. Interesting. So when you die here, you kind of spawn back. So, I guess... If you die here, you come back as a zombie. That pretty much explains the lore. So, yeah, it really is game over if we die. Because either way, if we die again, we'll be zombies. 
attack, attack. I'm playing around too much. <coughs> yeah, light him on fire. Actually, freezes ass. I'm interested in Blizzard right now. Even though fire is probably a lot more effective for a zombie. Just burning his ass alive, scalding him and shit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna burn him right now, just to test my curiosity. Borgen's really fascinated with Men Wu for whatever reason. Yeah, fire is really effective on him. He's pretty fun to fight, just because he's a freaking meat shield, so he can beat his ass up. He'll, he'll let you, like, do anything to him, I guess. So they're seeing the connection with Varian and crew. That's that right attitude, boy. I don't trust this game to let me go a few steps without, like, getting killed, so... <clears throat> Thief's Gloves. You see, all that good stuff we got for Joseph, it meant nothing in the end. I should have known. So that does a lot for your defense. Who should I work on? Well, <clears throat> Minwoo is really squishy, so I guess I should make him my priority. There you go. Okay, so we got a couple of chests to get interesting death knights, should I fight them or run away? Let, let's see how badly they wreck us, yeah. Just note that this is what you're getting yourself into when you go here. Soul of Rebirth? Yeah, it's no joke. Uh. Ordinarily, I pause for that, but whatever. <clears throat> yeah, that burger's getting to my throat. Giga Parasite. I don't know how they fight, so I don't know what buff to put. Oh. That's not good for Minwoo. Dead. 
Oh, he can't do any of that now. Good thing they didn't gang up on Joseph. There is no way in hell I'm going to let freaking Minwoo run empty. That is our trump card right there. Alright, let me save again. Even though it doesn't really change Destiny too much. Sea Serpents, we can deal with. That's a one hit kill. Hellfire, yes, daddy. All right, and we're about to get another sword. That's what I want to hear. <sighs> Scott, you worthless devil, you. Come on, Scott. There you go. Oh no. That's on let's get out of here. No one can escape in this game. No matter what version of Final Fantasy 2 you play, when you try to run away from a battle, when you try to dip, it's the most dramatic thing in the world too. It's like they make it seem like it's a struggle, but really the game is just saying no. You gotta live with this L. Take this L. We put this feature so that you can see the folly in your ways. This is Final Fantasy 2, you should know better. South, Eastern. Oh. This game, this guy gets his east, west mixed up so much that he's got me even more confused. He fucked up the first time. Okay. Let me check something out right now. Are you left-handed? Okay, you're left-handed. Good, I just needed to know that. I'm like, what the hell is this guy holding this sword this way for? I don't use shields. And so far, they have not proven useful in any way whatsoever. I mean, a 13% chance to evade the attack because of the shield? Get real. I would rather get a second hit in.
far west to north. Hopefully you're faster than this big ass oaf. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pissed. Heal yourself and hopefully it doesn't attack. Good. Amazing. And now we have more hit points because of that struggle. See what having good MP does in this game? Like, I didn't have good MP when I played this game. Uh, or initial playthrough. With freaking Maria, Furian, Guy, all those idiots. I had crappy MP. These guys have good MP. I feel indestructible with them. Okay, now we got a problem because it didn't heal Scott up all the way. Oh, damn. And we got him cursed. So his attack output isn't going to be as good. And that was a preemptive, too. Damn. Let's get his shoddy. Okay, basement number three. Okay. I would say go after anything with wings in this title. The first two games, definitely. Good thing he's a joke. Oh, my bad. Joseph needs more hit points. End of discussion right there. Okay, let me go down. Soon reach a chest with silver curiosity. Sounds good, boy. Um, warning. Alright. Go, Snapper. Let's go, Daddy. Last teamwork. Alright. This is what the guide meant. Silver Curious. Now he's a meat grinder.
No question about that. All right. I want to focus on attack. So there's supposed to be like a dealer around here. These guys ain't nasty enough for that. Oh, that's definitely bad. Okay, temporarily raises attack. Do we have enough money for any of this? One, two, three, four. Yes, we do. Holy damage, flare. Work on that, then work on Berserk, because that, that costs more. Okay, who should get it, though? Obviously, it should be Scott. I mean, we should be focusing on stuff that will affect DPS on you, like tanking. Like, he should raise your defense, your magic defense, aka your spirit, and everything else. Scott should work on getting you to hit harder. Nope. I mean, I like what they were trying to go with for with this bonus game dungeon, but I would have rather they not. Okay, hasten yourself. All right, that helped you out. Greatest cure went up a level. Measure does level up when you're 
using it out of battle, but very slightly. Ever so slightly. Okay, unknown cave basement number four. Oh, we're going to get wrecked. We survived that? You've outlived your usefulness now, so... Okay, I forgot I was using Scott. So they both have cure on them, that's cool. I got a high potion, wavy. Oh sweet, now we're about to get some good stuff. Good thing we got Ancient Sword. I usually save around this point when there's like a trifecta of chests. Okay. Oh, it's a golden shield. Well, that sucks. Now where do I go? Okay, Minwoo. <clears throat> Just to survive this, get yourself... Okay.
You got life on you? Good. Sweet. Life. And Joseph is not catching a break. This dude has been getting killed left and right. At least I don't have to rage quit every time I get into a battle I don't like. I can hold my own now. It'd be weird, but I can hold my own. So that guy must be blocking the exit, right? All right, you gotta talk to this guy. He's there to tempt you for a reason. It's Kane. Nope, it's Ricard. You can tell it's Ricard because his face is ugly. You can tell. So I'm. Sh I mean, if you look at the stat difference, it's obvious what kind of point they're trying to. Make. Ricard was with us all the way to chapter 8. He wasn't with us late into the story, pretty much. He joined when we were in Leviathan, the uh, monstro type whale, in chapter 7, and he left after we were done with Castle. Missidia or something like that, trying to deal with Leon as he was being rogue and trying to be the next emperor, Matrius. This dude, Ricard, was fighting Matrius from hell single-handedly and he got his ass clapped. So now he's here with a vengeance. Okay. Buff us up. Don't don't run a lap and then say you miss. Ooh. You notice that? And this sounds like bad fan fiction. But actually, for post game dungeon or like somewhat of a sequel, this is better than a lot of other Square sequels because I still get a Final Fantasy 
I still get the same vibe from this game that I get from the sequel. It doesn't seem like anachronistic fan fiction. So yeah, he keeps the blood sword. You know what that means? R.I.P. to the rest of this game. There ain't gonna be no troubles from here on out. Hmm. Letter gloves. Take a protect ring. Yeah, that's gonna cheese like the next two bosses we face, which are actually the last two bosses. Okay, don't go through that door, I guess. And yeah, there's another chest. Keep targeting Ricard. See, these enemies aren't a problem now, because we got... We got a whole team of shooters right now. This dude is our Ricard, like... He's got the setup that we want. Sweet. Okay, are we on our way out? It's getting kind of a linear, kind of Final Fantasy 13 ish. I feel like I'm going to get loaded after this, in terms of money, not like drugs. I might backtrack and get like Berserk for my characters too, since I just have haste at the moment. Shut up. Shut your ugly ass up. See, so yeah, obviously, since this is the only town in this post game, they can afford to make the dialogue like uh, interesting for NPCs. Because your mama ugly. So that's the final dungeon. For this post game. Yeah, it's not much of a post game, really. Cure tome. Anything I want? Sap tome. No. So these are just the basics. If you want the nasty stuff, you gotta go back to the initial dungeon. No, I don't know where your ugly ass dad is at. Oh, Tobul, you died? Oh, I guess it's with the Cyclone.
So all of this is whack, really. See, everything seems like an upgrade to freaking... Hold on, let me cop one of these. Everything seems like an upgrade to Ricard because his dominant hand is using the Blood Sword. But the Blood Sword is a destroyer of worlds. Remember that. There will be times where I'll give him a Flame Lance instead, but for the boss battles, the Blood Sword is the weapon you want to have on him. Wing Sword. Oh, we don't have enough shmoney yet. That's that means we're gonna have to do a lot of work. A staff made for striking. Take that. I don't gotta worry about Joseph's physical equipment. I do want to give him some freaking wing swords. Yes, yes, daddy. That's where we resurrect our dead folk. For free. In this game. Is there like an armor shop around here? I assume that's where you fight the super boss. Let's get turned since we're all dead anyway. What the magic is? Glad to see these guys still have their fire, even though they're dead. Losing most of their incentive for going on. Do you want to just like, be a ball of light that's incapable of thinking? <laughs> that's like a, in middle school, that's what one of my friends said, because we were having a conversation, a friend of mine said, You know what? I never really got the whole point of like the afterlife thing. Wouldn't it get really boring after uh, a couple of thousands of years or tens of thousands of years? He's like, well, we try to be a ball of light that's incapable of thinking. <laughs> uh, no, stop D writing, Sid. So yeah, Sid was kind of a badass. I wonder if we can give him back his airship. Well, this is a pretty small place for an afterlife, if you think about it. We've never actually seen hell besides the pandemonium. And this town is really just a small collection of people from after life. So are there like other places, other heavens out there, other towns in heaven? That's the big plot twist that this game has you thinking, this isn't hell, this is actually heaven. I'm going to just throw it out there right now because the reveal isn't that interesting anyway. Let me tell you what happened. The Emperor is so powerful that when he died, part of him went to heaven and part of him went to hell. We already know he kicked the devil's ass and took his kingdom. Well, he did the same here in heaven, except 
over here, he kind of made heaven into a hell because he's just that much of a jerk. So we can't get turned? What the hell is the point of being in here anyway? Then get a freaking drink. Stop with the crappy ass puns. We get it. You're dead. He's dead. She's dead. We're dead. Everything in here is dead. So freaking annoying. Oh. Uh, I was wondering. Can't they put a label on this? So I don't think this is like someone's crib and I'm going to have like a conversation here. This is what I love so much about the Legend of Zelda games. You could go to a person's crib. It's not just shops. Well, that's also true for some of the Final Fantasy games. I don't want to just go to like... And Breath of Fire, of course. I don't want to just go to shops if I'm in a town. I want to go to a person's crib, too. Yep, I got everything right. The southeastern corner is where you fight the super boss. You want to be a little bit stronger to do that first, of course. I would say upgrade all their stuff. Get Scott to have a high level version of. What's that spell? Yeah, get him a high level version of Berserk and Haste. Have freaking. Is that all we really need? Well, with the Blood Sword, yeah, that's all we really need. Everyone here could use a bit more hit points, though. Even Ricard, but not that much. He doesn't have too far to go. And that's pretty much it. For the rest of the way, I'm just gonna be level grinding. So anyways, this has been your boy Mr. Wonka7, thank you guys for watching, and I'm Take care everybody.